Hi, I'm Mike and in this video I will show you a really easy way in which you can render out multiple objects into their own image file basically by just clicking one button in Blender. Uh, so, so you'll have the same results as you see here with each object being their own layer and composite that together you'll have this uh, badass mech. So a use case for doing something like this would be for example if you're doing a 2D game but you want to have uh, each part rendered out in 3D. Or another example would be if you want to render out like uh, an environment, but you want to chop up the the foreground, middle ground and background, for example. So uh, let's hop into it. OK, so now we're in uh, Blender. So I'm just going to take a moment to explain a little bit what we're looking at. So, of course, to the right we have a Blender with our mech loaded. And to the upper left we have the console window. And to the lower left we have an empty folder. So, what you can see is that we have all these different parts now uh, lined up. And what we could do is just render out each part like separately by just hitting the the render button wait and just uh, unhide and, and render again or you could head into the node editor and probably set everything up there and spend a lot of time doing that but that's not what we are going to do so what we're going to do is that i'm going to use a uh, add-on uh, called multi-render it's an add-on that i created and released uh, free for everyone to use i have a link in the description uh, so you can uh, check it out okay so how do you use this? So you may, might have noticed that each uh, part have a prefix called part underscore. And what the add-on does is that it looks through all the objects that you have in the scene. And it identify by the filter that you have written in here. So in our case, what we want to do is just to write in part underscore. So what this will do is as soon as I hit the render button, it will start to cycle through all the the parts and render it out to its own image file. But before uh, I hit the render button, I just want to mention that I highly recommend that you have a console window open. And the reason for this is that as soon as you hit the render button, uh, Blender will uh, basically become uh, unusable. So the console window is a great way uh, to track the render progress as uh, the add-on will actually print out uh, what's happening. So uh, let's go ahead and press the render button and see what happens. Okay, so you can see now in the console window that the rendered has started. In the uh, folder, you can see the images actually getting saved out into each each file for each individual part. So now we just have to wait until the render finished. Okay, so we're back. As you can see, um, all the images uh, or all the parts seems to be rendered out uh, without any issues. And let's have a look at each image file. And uh, let's see here. Okay, as you can see, like, uh, each part now is rendered out to, to its own image file, which is uh, fantastic. Alright, so here you can see another use case for why you would want to render out different uh, objects into different layers. Like in this case, uh, I used to design a lot of watch faces for uh, smartwatches, as, uh, like the Samsung Galaxy uh, watch. Here you can see that you can render out different parts for different uh, applications or apps or or in this case watch faces so as you can see here i can show you like here to the right you can see all the different parts rendered out and to the left you can see everything composited together uh, so everything is still separate in which you can use this to import into whatever uh, application you're making or whatever like game engine or whatever it might be so you can see here that Everything here is ready for for use in a real-time application. As mentioned, this add-on is completely free for you to download and use. Uh, you can either just download it and install it as a regular Blender add-on, and you'll uh, find it in the 3D view 
on the right side here uh, under MBL uh, Utils and just click on it and it'll appear. So you can either just download it or you could uh, also clone the repository uh, for you to uh, stay up to date for any uh, potential updates. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, have a go at it and uh, have some fun. All right, bye.